He's right. Chris Jesus Ferguson here. He's straddled. You can't forget about him. Like I said, he kind of just sits in the grass and waits and waits for the right moment, huh? Well, yeah, it's managed to make him uh, $160,000 so far. 5100 And here comes Mike Mattis out. Wow, I have a bad feeling about this one, Mikey. You have kings? All right, I'm all in. I got 60. And an all in from Phil Helmuth. I have a bad feeling. I did. 5,100, yeah? So I raised. Helmuth moves all in with ace queen. Now it's about a $4,500 raise from Mattisau, a call and an all-in, which is about 59,000 from Helmuth. And you can see the 55, cards. 55,900. Now, Mattisau is a favorite, obviously, over Helmuth. Duan is not going to be in this pot. We can pretty much know that for sure. The pot is 74,000. It's about 60,000 to call. Wow, he studied this long. You do have kings. <laughs> <laughs> he studied this long, it means he has kings? Jeez. What plan are you on? Well, you know I wouldn't shove it all in with aces. Wow, that's sick. He's got... Jack. I hope he has jacks. I thought he had. Yeah. Nice, didn't you? That's a perfect read. Yeah. Oh, 60, 40. I knew, I, knew he, I knew he had an ace. Ace, queen, tens for $131,000. Very good flop for tens. Seven will close it out for him. Yeah, exactly. Helmuth needs an ace or a queen for $132,000, just about. No help there for Helmuth. Have you ever flipped a coin for $132,000? There's the seven, and Mattisau makes the straight on the river. Give me $100,000. 100% sure. Idiot, Mattisau, Queen Jack, tens. Good call, Mike. I guess you were just hoping to uh, hoping to be even money, huh? Nice read, Mike. You thought I was going to slide the second time in a row and not have uh, no, I, I was at least two overs to I tens? was sure I was 60-40, and I was. You were sure you were 60-40. Idiot player. I, guy, yes. I, I said, Dirt, you had an ace, right? He said, yep. So I was right. Good read. Good read. Oh, I missed it. I was brutal. Yeah. I'll say. You're not doing it? That was, by the way, that was the highest for right, life. Right, right, right. Blinds, of course, 300, 600, a straddle of 1,200 from Gus Hansen. Patrick Antonio will be first to act. John Juanda, looking down and finding ace ten of clubs. Six thousand. He makes it 6,000. Did you ever play higher than 5,10 no limit? Like, did you ever have a hand where there was I mean, I might have been in a hand or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm saying one hand. I'm, I'm saying one hand. Did you ever play a hand that was straddled higher than no, 10,000? No? We had some 8,000s in Bellagio a few months ago. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know. I figured you would have bigger. I don't even remember. Matter of fact, I'm oh, definitely I'm truly going to be honest. The way this game is playing is absolutely the biggest game I've ever played in. And two fours for Gus Hansen. He's probably going to at least call this. Uh, probably thinking, is there any value to raising this? Can I take it down pre-flop? <laughs> I think he might show a lot of respect for John Joanda. I think he'll be happy to see a flop, give himself a chance to flop three fours. Six total, yep. Yeah. So, this You're one right. is going to be four to the flop, fours, eights, ace jack, and ace ten. The racer with the worst hand. Pot is nearly $25,000. Jack ten, nine. I was thinking, I was kind of looking at Obviously, it's a scary flop for everybody involved, isn't it? And a pretty ugly flop for Gus Hansen. I was going to say, it's not too scary for Gus. I think he's going to know his hand's worth absolutely nothing. That's pretty crazy. Of course, it looks like an up and down straight for Phil Ivey. But if a queen comes, he might be scared of a king. Of course, it's a raised pot. Somebody could have king, queen already. Now, Helmuth comes out and bets right away. 
Cool. And he bets 13,000. And we get a call uh, from no. Phil Ivey. Pass. Uh, we should have done the straddle this time. Hansen gone. I would have been more than happy to stick no, in. Pass. Pardon me, it's actually a $9,000 bet from Helmuth. Seven. Wow, what a seven. Well, that's the card you want. Like you said, you didn't want to see the queen, but you definitely want to see that seven. It's a great card for Phil Ivey. But Phil Helm has checked it. And Ivey cannot lose this pot. He can only chop it up. And that's if he hits a set of eights. It's not really the kind of board you're going to like Ace Jack that much with, is it? Let's be honest. Not much you can beat out there. 30,000. It could be a 10 queen. Something like that. Phil's calling with a pair and an up and down straight. Well, Ivy bets. He doesn't mess around when he bets. Bets just over twenty-five thousand dollars. Now, Helmuth has the ace of diamonds in his hand. So it might be less likely that Ivy is making this play with a flush draw. Yeah, I think that's probably true. But there are so many straight draws out there, so many kind of half-connected hands. He might feel his ace jack is still good. We obviously know better. And Phil Helmuth's nightmare continues. And his problem is, if he thinks he's in front, if he thinks he's got Phil Ivey on a draw, he could move all in here. He's only got 100,000, and that would make the size of the pot 100,000 if he just calls the 30. I could almost forgive him making all three plays. Of course, the problem with the all-in, he's only ever going to get called if he's behind. Having said that, I suppose a 10 queen of diamonds would probably call him. This hand is just oozing with analysis. Pot is $73,000. All right, I'm all in. 30000 for Helmut the call. All in. And well, he's, he's announced all in. All in. He's all in. Yeah. Ivy, Ivy nods his head. He calls this. That's good. And Helmut needs an eight. Or he is going busto again. Oh, and what a look. What do you want me to do? I, ca I can't believe he can have it every time against me. Scary button up for you, for his jet, Phil. What do you want me to do, John? I mean, I, this guy's been so lucky against me in my life, I, I can't even take it. Boom. That is not the eight. He deserves it. And Phil yeah, Ivey wins another pot. Give me a hundred. Here, look, I'll just quit if that's what you want. Just don't well, the tempers leave, leave are rising, and Phil Helmuth already down over $300,000. Not happy. He is apparently quitting the game. You got what you want, buddy. And, and he is just, he is walking out up the stairs, and, and that's all she wrote. I guess Phil Helmuth, I'm not sure if he's coming back or not. Well, I think that's probably the best thing for him. I think if he stays here, he could end up losing a lot more money. And of course, uh, you know, steaming at the table, steaming off the table. Phil Helmut, obviously very, very upset. Phil, Phil, can we grab a quick word before you leave? Quite a dramatic exit. What's prompted you to cut and run? Well, I mean, uh, I mean, you, the floor man has to show a little more discretion. You can't let me swear 140 times, and then when I get 300,000 loser whisper, please stop swearing. I mean, that was very, it was very, uh, I, I, I thought he didn't show much discretion there at all. And I mean, it's just... It was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. What I wanted to do is I wanted to sit down with my sunglasses on and, and fight back, you know, I wanted to fight back. But, I mean, that last beat by Ivy, I mean, he, he it's aggravating to me. Yes, Phil Ivy's a great player. I'm not saying he's not a great player, but he's been holding over me for a long time. You know, in L.A., uh, I picked up ace-king suited seven-handed. He picked up two aces, you know, at the World Poker Tour tournament. You know, I mean, uh, I'm cut off, he's button. 
and he's just been holding over me. He beat me for 536,000 playing Chinese. It's been frustrating. Now, if you ask Phil if I'm going to beat him for a million in a night, he'll tell you, yeah. But, you know, he said, but he'll tell you he hopes, he hopes he's up two million before I beat him for a million in a night. You leave 300 down tonight, though, as well. I mean, are you philosophical or furious about that? Well, I mean, what can you do? I mean, you know, I mean, I lost every, uh, you know, I made a stand against Mike Mattisau. The stand was wrong, but I still had 13 outs. I could easily have won that pot. And then he made a bad call against me with 10s, and, uh, and I lost that coin flip. And then, uh, and then Ivy hit an offsuit seven. I mean, his only card to get paid. I mean, you know, come on, if an eight or a queen comes, there's not any action. He needs an offsuit seven. And, uh, and that was just frustrating. I mean, he just uh, called 9,000 to hit an offsuit seven on me. So all you can say is for that game, it wasn't that much money. I mean, everybody was going crazy at the end. So normally I'd, I'd stay around and fight, but I just, I like to be happy. I mean, I do. I mean, I'm so blessed in life. I'm, I'm blessed with fortune and fame and so many great things. And, and, and I just don't want to, uh, I just, if I'm not happy, I just go. I don't, I don't have to play in a situation where I'm not happy. Well, we're sorry you didn't get a chance to hit back tonight, but thanks for stopping to talk to us. That's all right.